I'm Paul Stevens with Cottage Craft Works, and today I'm going to sh show and demonstrate our uh, mechanical sewing machine lifts that we sell. We carry two uh, different models. One uh, is for a 50 pound machine, and the other one is for a 60 pound machine that is the extra tall for the Bernina 7. This lift right here will handle up to 14 and a half inch travel and the extra tall lift will handle 16 and a half inches travel. It's a very uh, simple uh, lift mechanism. They are German made. Uh, there is a um, cylinder that runs up and down similar to what would be on a lift gate uh, hatch on a car. And then that is hooked with a cable that goes over to pulley and then it hooks onto this shuttle. There's three adjustment positions on these lifts. Both lifts are exactly the same, except the lift is heavier duty to hold 60 pounds and the taller lift is 22 and a half inches. Your smaller lift is 19 and a quarter inches uh, for mounting. This uh, lift um, releases with kind of a double tap is what we call it. To all the way down. Now if you bought this, uh, bought a tall lift, which would be not a bad idea if you ever plan to upgrade to um, the Bernina series model, or the next generation machines, which require 15 inches, this bottom block can always be adjusted back up. These lifts can also be mounted in a pull-out drawer and used for a serger lift as well. And we also carry a scissor type serger lift uh, on the site and we also carry all the hinges for the sewing cabinets. Now to uh, give you an example of how you would adjust these, they, uh, they are German made, so they do require an eight millimeter socket that would go uh, in to loosen these two nuts. This one here is adjusted to bring your sewing machine up to the top of your cabinet. And it's pretty well factory adjusted. This one here, is what brings your sewing machine up to the flatbed height and then this one adjusts your travel down so if you uh, bought uh, this lift to put into a cabinet and you're going to use a larger machine later then you'd want to adjust this up so you're not having to push all the way down Okay, these uh, lifts are made to go into a, a traditional 20 inch deep cabinet and they will need to have some solid blocking in the back, either three quarter inch blocking for them to mount to or uh, a three quarter inch piece of plywood. Uh, there are screw holes to uh, mount on the top and bottom. Now some of the cabinet builders will also build a footrest or a shelf that will go underneath and then you can screw down to the bottom of that. So we have made this mock-up, which is not indicative of our sewing cabinets at all, but we wanted to show you, instead of trying to show one in a cabinet or cutting a cabinet in half, to try to show you how this thing would work. So simulate having your cabinet top, which is routed for your template to sit in. And you can buy these templates at uh, sosteady.com. Some people will make their own templates. It just depends on what type of machine it is. One thing about Sosteady is that they have programmed into computers all the different machine uh, shapes to make. And you may also be able to get one made at a local glass company. It's Lexan. We'll simulate a shelf 
that your sewing machine would sit on and the sewing machine. So you can see that it's already factory adjusted for tabletop height. And you'd reuse this at tabletop height if you're using an embroidery attachment on something uh, or some other attachments. Adjust the sewing machine for the sewing bed height. In other words, we're bringing this part up to level with the machine. We just simply need to get the measurement, which I believe is about an inch and a quarter, and then transpose that over to this block right here, which there is a tape measure on here, or we could put a pencil there. And then we use our socket, which is an eight millimeter because it is a German lid, to just loosen these screws to bring this block up and then retighten it. We don't want to take them all the way out because they're bolts that could actually fall out the back. Say you have a couple different machines that you want to use in the same cabinet. So what you would do with that is take the deepest machine and set your template uh, for that and then make a filler panel to go in to lift that uh, the other machines up.